What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, Cap Suicide, everybody, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I need to do a disclaimer on this real quick. Um, just to, I feel like I need to do it on the channel. We're at 11,295 peeps right now. So thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bomb freaking dickity.com. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Single mom and two kids. So it really helps support a single mama's income stream. Just saying. Uh, okay. So I feel like I need a disclaimer of this on here. It's sad I have to do it on Tarot Card Reading Channel, but I am. I am not interested in dating anybody. I mean, I'm just making that very abundantly clear. Very abundantly clear. Nobody. I am legally single. I do not, I'm do. i not interested in dating anybody. I'm definitely not interested in polyamorous relationships. Period. I don't believe in that. I don't judge people that do it. I don't judge people that do it. But do I agree with the polyamorous lifestyle? And would I ever agree to be in anybody's polyamorous relationship hell to the his no i'm getting offers for polyamorous relationships i'm getting offers for to go on dates i mean and they're pouring 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 in i am not interested you guys i'm not interested somebody was making fun of my funky teeth yesterday you want to go you want to go on a date with somebody with funky teeth really no i'm not interested man no polyamorous relationships no dating Period. Period. That's for my entire collective. Just to let everybody know. Okay? Period. Okay. So, the channel message I received was, um, someone is mortified. Mortified. Someone is mortified is what I just heard. Mortified. Well, you know, Mortify means extremely embarrassed for anybody who doesn't know. Um, you know, you shouldn't be. Yes, I have all my contact information in the description box below. And a lot of you guys contact me for tarot reading type stuff. I don't appreciate the contact for, I'm, a, I'm married um, or I'm in an open relationship with five other people. Do you want to be a part? I, no, this is a tarot card reading channel, not a dating channel. I don't appreciate that. So I'm sorry you're embarrassed. Actually, I'm sorry, not sorry you're embarrassed because you shouldn't have done it. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. So yeah, I'm going to call your ass out on the channel, period. Okay, just saying. Okay, so yeah. So um, I just felt like that needed to be said. I mean, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm currently in the middle of a custody battle right now. Do you think that would look good going up in there? Fighting for my kids and saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in an open relationship with six other people. No, no, it wouldn't. Nor, if even if I wasn't in the middle of a custody battle right now, I still would not be interested. I have never, ever, ever been interested in any polyamorous type relationships. No swinger relationships. Anybody watch my Daily Tea yesterday? I told some stories about swingers that I used to live around. I've never been interested in any kind of swinger type relationships. Ever. Ever. I don't believe in it. I don't judge people to do it. But do I want to be a part of it? Hell to the his no. I am just interested in getting my kids back and living my best life with me. Period. Like I've always wanted it to be. I've always wanted it to be that way. That's how I want my life to be. Period. I don't want anybody. Open relationship or not. But even if I wanted a relationship, it would not be an open relationship, period. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Quit harassing me with the dating shit. Some of you guys, you wanted, you know, monogamous relationships. Some of it was polyamorous, but I'm not really interested in monogamy or polyamory, period. I don't want to be in the middle of anybody's marriage. How messy is that? How fucking messy is that? Period. Someone is getting a huge, huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge, huge wake-up call is what I just heard. Someone's getting a huge... Well, you know, hey. It needs to be said. 
I'm sick and tired of the message. After, I mean, you don't understand how many messages I have recently received this weekend. And I don't know why I'm receiving them. I don't ever put it out. It's not like I get on here and I wear tops or my boobs are hanging out. It's not like I get on here. My ass is hanging out. It's not like I get on here and apparently people make fun of my teeth. It's not like I have nice, straight, white teeth. Um, it's not like my boobs are hanging out. My ass is hanging out. I mean, so I'm not giving you any indication I want to date you. I get on here and I deliver the channel messages, period. Just saying, just saying. Leave me the fuck alone, man. Leave me alone. How hard is that? Okay. So the channel message I received was, someone is really, really, really trying to find out your date of birth for your, to study your birth chart, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge, huge, huge way. They have done heavy, heavy black magic on you in the past. It has backfired, and this time it's going to continue to backfire, but much, much stronger because you're much stronger in the spiritual realm now. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. So if this resonates for you, um, someone has done heavy dark arts on you in the past. So dark arts, well, we all know what that is. Dark side of the spiritual realm. I mean... Some of these people, I feel they could go to church and sing Kumbaya every Sunday. Or, you know, not Kumbaya, but, you know, in the pews on Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. And, oh, I'm so holier than thou. And bloody, bloody, bloody. But secretly behind the scenes, they're doing dark arts. Leave the people the fuck alone. I mean, Jesus. Uh, actually, not Jesus. I don't, I'm not using the term Jesus. I don't down any religious people. Or any spiritual people, I believe you should be free to choose whatever preference you choose. Whether you were religious or you were religious and spiritual. I am just spiritual, not religious. But everybody's different. So, I, I'm sorry about that. But, my point is, they practice our hearts. Whether they do it on a false mask and pretense of, oh, I go to Sunday, Sunday school and I'm a deacon in the church and blah, 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 or what have you. They, um... They practice our cards. Well, and they've done it to you very heavy in the past, but I heard it's backfired. But I heard they want your date of birth time. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, in order to find your birth chart, all your placements in your birth chart, one of the pieces of information you need is your time, um, your date, your time of birth. Your time of birth. That's one of the placements you needed for you to complete a birth chart. Well, they're trying to, they don't know your time of birth, but they really want to know it, um, I think, to put, to do some kind of crazy shit for, uh, on you, um, dark art side. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire, it's about to backfire much stronger than it ever has. Um, so you plug it in however it resonates. Whoever you're dealing with here, if this resonates for you, they're very messy people. Very messy. Messy, messy, messy. That's why I don't have friends. That's why it's just my kids and myself. I keep my ex-husband at a very, very, very long distance. Um, Co-parent very appropriately with him at a very long distance. Um, because I have to. And I have co-workers. And I have my kids. And that's it. Period. Point blank. And that's why I'm not interested in dating. That's why. And they, and even if I was interested in dating, even when I dated, just to let everybody know, even when I dated, I never dated people in marriages, just to let you know. I never got in the middle of somebody's marriage. I've never dated anybody in an open relationship um, that I knew about. Now, people I have dated in the past, I figured out they were cheating on me, um, but they never told me that they, um, they were dating other people, if that makes sense. So, you know, people lie all the time, verbal ma manipulation. So, and that's one of the reasons why I'm not dating them no more. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, and another reason why I want to remain single, because people are fucking liars. They're liars. And apparently we've got HIV outbreak about, about the, um, outbreaking in a fucking community right now. So that's another reason why I don't want to date nobody. 
Um, and that's just the damn truth. I'm sick of the, it's, it's coming to be harassment. It is coming to be harassment. Leave me the hell alone. I don't ever give any indications that I want to date anybody. I don't ever text anybody interested in wanting to get to know you. I don't ever communicate with anybody interested in wanting to get to know people. I don't do that. So for people to come to me, leave me the fuck alone, man. Leave me the fuck alone. Period. There's billions and billions and billions of people in the world. Billions of them. Go find somebody that's fucking interested. Period. Point blank. So yeah. So um, I heard they want your um, your um, time of birth. They want your time of birth so they can basically secretly study your uh, birth chart so they can perform um, heavy dark arts on you. Spirit messages you have with like this. Well, they need to um, they need to just quit worrying about you and go grow and manifest their own damn self or go get them a fucking hobby. Yeah, we got boundaries on the bottom of the deck. So I think you put your boundaries up. Number 12 could be a very significant number in your life. In some shape, form, or fashion, number 12. It could be a possible age of viewers by you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible um, jersey number, number 12. I think you have put your boundaries up towards these uh, person or people, and um, you're not into it. And honestly, that's a huge reason why I have my boundaries up the way I am. That's a huge reason. Because I know how folks are. Every single person I've dated in the past, every single person, and including my ex-husband, have been very shitty to me in the relationship department. Very shitty. Um, there's only been one person I've dated in the past that was very open about the other people they were dating. Only one. Um, and I appreciated the honesty about that. I appreciated it. But when I dated him, I wasn't interested. I wasn't... Um, I wasn't, um, he wasn't serious. We wasn't serious. So it didn't really bother me. And he didn't have STDs. <laughs> so it didn't bother me. Um, but the everybody else that I dated, um, they lied. They said, oh, yeah, I only want you, baby. I only want you. I only want you. Blussy, 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 blussy. But that wasn't the case, including my ex-husband, including him. So um, that is a huge reason why I put boundaries up. That's a, and I think it's a huge reason why you put boundaries up. This resonates for you. Huge reason why you put boundaries up. You have really protected yourself or about to protect yourself. Somebody wants your time of date, uh, your time of, your time of birth. They want your time of birth. So if anybody comes to you and asks you, you know, in conversation, I don't care. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. Anywhere you are conversating with somebody. Um, protect yourself. I don't care if it's a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker, a, your Aunt Sue that you haven't spoke to in 20 years, and all of a sudden she wants to pop up and call you. Oh, honey, by the way, I was just curious. What is your time of birth? I just always wanted to know that. But what you don't know is Aunt Sue that you haven't spoke to in 20 years is going to make another phone call when she gets off the phone with you and communicate it back to the warlocks and witches that are uh, doing some kind of curse on your ass or hex on your ass or some kind of seance on your ass. And I'm being serious. So somebody needs to be careful is what I'm trying to say. Be freaking careful. Boundaries. We have boundaries. Set your boundaries. Um, I mean, y'all might think my boundaries are strict, but I do them for damn good reasons. Damn good reasons. Leave me the fuck alone, period. Period. Fair messages you have reflected. I was gang stalked too damn long in my community. Too damn long in my community to ever date anybody ever again. And I'm serious about that. That's me. Now, everybody's different. Um... I'm, I'm serious. I want to live my best life by my damn self. By my motherfucking damn self. Period. I have sex toys. I have my finger and I have porn if I need it. I don't need somebody's penis. Or vagina for that matter. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. Number 25 may be a very significant number in somebody's life. Number 25 it could be a possible age of viewers. Somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. 
possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible jersey number, number 25, resistance. Someone very, 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 very important is about to watch this reading. They're about to get a huge ass wake up call. Huge. It's going to really light a huge fire under their ass and help you in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, that's good. So I heard someone very um, important. Very, very, very important. Now, whoever the hell this person is, hopefully they're light side being or they just want to help you out. Um, they don't have to be light side being, but I feel they either are or they're trying to be. Um, but they're very, very, very important individual, whoever they are and how they resonate in your community or life or what have you. Um, but I heard they're going to watch this reading and they're going to help you out. So they're going to watch this reading. Um, but they know i think they're going to plug you in whoever you are and this resonates with with resonating with the situation and they know it's going to be for you and they're going to help you out um i think you have resisted these people in the past um it's dark arts it's dark arts it's dark arts um and all they want to do is just use you use and abuse you man which they've done in the past. Dark arts is spiritual abuse for anybody who doesn't know. You can be abused mentally, spiritually, physically, sexually, verbally, or spiritually. This is spiritual abuse. And I feel for a lot of you guys, they probably have abused you in every single facet in one shape, form, or fashion in the past. But you've resisted them. I think you've blocked your energy. You've cut your energy. Um, and you have um, got the hell away from them. But for good reason. So I feel this is your energy of resisting them. But I heard some very, somebody very, very, very important is basically about to watch this reading and they're about to help you out in a huge way. Um, so I think they're about to get alerted of this situation. Uh, maybe somebody, um, I think they're about to get alerted of the people that's done the dark arts on you is what I'm thinking here. Um, maybe they're asking this person for your, um, for your, for your, um, information uh, maybe they thought that they had your information your time of, uh time of birth information because that is a very important piece of information um bless you for birth charts it really really is um and um yeah it's it's really sad these people are big ass moochers is what they are they're big ass mooch moochers but i heard somebody very important is about to help you out in a huge way they all they want to do is take from you all they want to do is take from you. They don't believe in copacetic um, give and take. They believe in let me suck the fucking life force out of you and get everything I can get out of you. And then I'll keep on and making myself better, basically. But whoever you are, you've blocked your energy from them. You've blocked your energy from them. And I don't feel they can do it anymore like they used to could. So you've resisted them. And I feel this very, 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 very important person is about to resist them as well. Because I heard they're about to actually help you out. So you plug it in however it resonates. Things are about to go very, 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 very fast in a particular court battle soon. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard this, um, so, um, things are about to start going very, very, very fast in a particular court battle soon. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. So I'm thinking someone was intentionally delaying a court battle or they were intentionally um, slowing down a court battle or some kind of court or legal process in some shape, form, or fashion, but um, they were resistant to change. They wanted to keep it the way it is, basically. They wanted to keep this uh, court legal issue in limbo in some shape, form, or fashion. It's some kind of court battle. Now, whatever kind of court battle it is, it could be over money. It could be over children. It could be over property. It could be over assets. It could be a divorce. 
some kind of court battle energy, but I heard it's about to speed up in a huge way because somebody's about to help you out, whoever you are that some crazy douches or douche has been performing dark arts on you. But I heard this time it's about to backfire on them in a huge ass way. Well, good, it should. It should. And people need to leave me the hell alone, man. Leave me alone. I'm serious. I've never given any, I'm done with the reading, so y'all click off. But I've never given any indication that I've ever been, ever wanted to be in any kind of open relationship, any kind of polyamorous relationship, which I never have been, even when I dated. I've never given that indication. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't even want a monogamous relationship right now. Period. I feel like I need to make that very abundantly clear. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.